Hello everybody, Mason Drum here. Thank you for watching. Today I'm doing a quick and impromptu bag review of the Peak Design 10 liter everyday sling. It's this bag right here. Um, I've had this bag for about two years. I really liked it at the beginning and over the last two years I've just stopped using it and I want to talk to you about why I originally liked the bag and why I don't really like it anymore. So yeah, before I sell it on eBay, let's talk about why I'm getting rid of it. So as the name suggests, this is an everyday carry bag. It's not just for photography gear. It's spacious, the inside of it, it's pretty large. It's got a massive cavity inside. And the body holds, whether or not there's stuff in it, the body holds its shape. So you can see the inside of it. It's got these little uh, panel things, separators, dividers, that open up. I think they're like, they branded them as like origami inspired. And basically while they're sitting in there, it creates like a little shelf. So you can put a small lens here, small lens here, or if you have a longer lens. It's got nylon weatherproofing. Uh, it's pretty good. A woman on an airplane spilled her Coke on, in front of me, and this was underneath her seat, and it went all over the bag. Fortunately, I was able to take a washcloth to it and wash it all off, which was really convenient. And there's not really much of a stain. There is some stain, uh, but there's not much of a stain. And so hopefully the person I sell this to on eBay doesn't notice. So I bought this two years ago after minimizing my gear. I was shooting with Canon and Nikon, had a variety of lenses, uh, and ended up selling all that to get this with a teleconversion lens. This is what I always want to carry with me by my side, and I needed a bag that would hold this with maybe a few items, uh, and that's why I got that's why I got this guy. Now, long story short, I don't like this bag for my needs because it's too big. That's not really a problem with the bag, it's just more of a problem of my needs versus what this provides, and this ends up making me want to bring along more stuff than I really need. I know that there's a smaller, I think a five liter version of this. I would love to test that out, I'm not for sure uh, if I would use it more often or not, but I would not suggest this if you are wanting a camera bag for full-time like photography use. For example, as a photographer, if I'm going on a portrait shoot and this is my bag, I have a 5D in here, 7200 it can fit and then a whatever this is crazy heavy to put all this on your shoulder with these crappy straps I can't get over how crappy these straps are and there's no give at all so all that weight is dispersed over two inches and about a foot so it's really ends up grinding on your shoulders now it's got this cool like quick release adjustment function but it ends up killing my back and uh, hurting my shoulders. And that's not the case for a lot of other things. I, honestly, like most of the time, I find myself using the uh, Think Tank. What is this, the Urban ah, Urban Approach 10. And I think one of the big things about it is one, that, while this isn't a great strap, but it's better than the strap that's on the sling. There's actually some padding on it. It's wider. And also, I can wear it on this shoulder I can move it around to the front, move it around to the back, and then I can switch shoulders. So I can kind of disperse the weight throughout the day as I'm on a shoot. Where the Peak Design, it's gotta go over right here and that's the only way I'm gonna wear it. Anyway, that's a big deal for me. If a bag's not comfortable, I'm gonna get rid of it. I need a smaller bag. Stylistically, Peak Design stuff has always looked good. There's a very distinct, minimal, uh, modern style to it. And I was really drawn to it, even from the very first Kickstarter video that they had, I really appreciated that they put so much into their design. Now, two years later, if I'm being honest, I feel like I liked and bought this bag as a result of being just new and cool and very techy, um, which was what appealed to me at that time. But if I look at, say, my Tom Bin bags, bags that aren't even made for photographers, I still use those, and I got them over seven years ago. Um, but they're super comfortable. And uh, that's my biggest problem with this bag. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that this will be helpful for you deciding if you want this bag or if you don't want this bag. Feel free to ask me any questions and I will answer them as soon as I can. Uh, in the meantime, please give me a follow on X100FAN. I take pictures only with this guy, the x 100 F and uh, yeah, would love to connect with you there. Peace out.